Hey kids, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. We are on part 28. <laughs> and in the last part, we drove an Atlas and saved Grissom Academy from a gruesome fate. See what I did there? <laughs> but someone in the comments told me that I had actually forgotten to go back and technically complete the quest with Aria. Oh, I thought that was the Citadel for a minute. So we are going to head back to the Citadel, as we always seem to do. We're going to see if we can complete that quest really quick. Just really quick. So I'll meet you in Purgatory Bar. Okay, so here we are at Purgatory. And we're gonna go speak to Arya and try to finish up this quest. I was listening to that guard, he was just complaining. He's like, I hate everything. All right, let's get up here really quick. I don't believe there's anything else going on here, but let's just go make sure that we've got this quest done. Look who's here. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Whatever you say, Arya. Okay. Don't be a stranger. Well, that's cool. I didn't expect much out of that, but I'll meet you guys back on the Normandy because we're going to go ahead and do something else. So I'll meet you guys back there. Okay, so here we are back on the Normandy. Um, sorry I had a couple cuts there, but I just didn't think that um, you guys would have wanted to watch me running back and forth from Purgatory to the Normandy. So in this episode, we are going to, thankfully, be continuing on our main story quest, which we've been, probably should have been doing a lot earlier, but we're going to go meet with the diplomats on, um, I think that's at Anos Basin? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but who cares? I don't care. I still haven't quite figured out what it means to have the Reapers inside a territory. But we shall all find out eventually. So let's go meet with the diplomats. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. Uh-oh. And hope this doesn't start another war. I'm a little nervous. Krogan, a Turian, and a Salarian all in the, the same Krogan room? The is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. Oh, and shit! I'm not just it's some Rex! Shipyard Theron. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Oh, shit. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. Um, well, technically... And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatras, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing. Wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Hmm. 
Hmm. They had to do it. I mean, the Krogan save the galaxy. The Rachni were devouring everything in their path. The Krogan are dangerous. And what the Rachni started, the Krogan tried to finish. We simply traded one enemy for another. I won't let history repeat. Curing the genophage will doom us all. We don't have a choice. Whether you like it or not, we need Krogan help to win this war. And what happens when the war is over? We'll find a new way to keep the peace. And they'll break it. Enough. This is all theoretical. It would take years to formulate a cure. There's no time. My information says otherwise. I thought we destroyed all that guy's research in this effect, too. <gasps> I knew it! He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. We got rid of his research, though. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? Oh. I don't... I. You know what? Someone said in my comments that this, this LP would be more fun if I started picking picking things according to what I want to do. According to sort of like what I would do and not necessarily just going for renegade options. But I like playing as a renegade. I'm going to I'm going to start I'm going to be playing renegade mostly. So if there's something that I feel very strongly about then I will pick a Paragon option, but most of the time I'm going to be picking Renegade. What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. She's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Rex what he wants. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander, the consequences of this... Yeah, I got it! ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkash. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. I'm not a bully. That's a very tough situation. I, th I bet the Salarians are going to be scared out of their fucking minds. So I suppose Jack didn't join us. For some reason. But we're going to go ahead and... Just for the sake... For the sake of using different characters and not being a pain in the ass, we're gonna we'll take James, unfortunately, and um, and we'll take Garrus. But like I said, um, renegade options seem to be more fun for me. They make me laugh. Um, I just have more fun playing Renegade, unfortunately. I know that might be kind of boring for some people, but some people find that they'd rather watch an LP that is pure Paragon or pure Renegade, but most of the time, I'm going to say about 90% of the time, I'm going to be playing Renegade, but the other 10%, I might pick something different. Hence why I chose to get Dr. Chakwas on my team, um, and why I'm kind of always nice to Caden. So, personally... I am trying to get the... Oh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to add the scope onto my assault rifle. So I hope that uh, hope that works out okay. I don't think we... Oh yeah, here we go. We picked up another mod for our SMG. Heat sink. Awesome. But yeah, I'm, I'm 
playing mostly Renegade. If I cap Renegade at a certain point, I might be starting to do a few more uh, Paragon choices just for the sake of variety. But for now, I'm going to be doing some Renegade. Well, I've had a chance to look at the achievements, and I don't believe there's actually a Renegade or Paragon achievement, which is really strange, because there is one in every game. But for the moment, I'm going to be playing mostly Renegade. Let's give him some more shields. So James... Let's give him an extra point to Carnage, because he's good against armor. And then I don't really want to use Fortification because it slows down power usage, so I want to use that as sort of a last resort. Um, so for now I'm just going to let him hang on to those three points. And for Shepard, let's give her... Let's give her some more fitness. Please insert disc one. Well, I guess this is a good time to end it. <laughs> the signs are telling me. Um, so I want to thank you guys for watching. And in the next part, we're going to progress onward and see what's going to happen with the main story. But we are all ready and all prepared. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know how I'm doing. Make sure you give me those thumbs up because it really lets me know that I'm doing a good job. It gives me encouragement. So... Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in part 29.